All right, we're here with uh, lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez. How are you doing today? I'm excellent, man. Glad to be here. Good. Thanks for spending the time with us. So when it does hit the ground, the fight should be over. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have to deal with any wrestling or BJJ. Uh, Pat throws a big right hand. I throw a whole lot of big right hand left hooks and all kinds of other things. I think it's going to be a matter of I have a good idea that if this fight if this fight hits the ground, it's probably going to be over. I thought thought Amato won, and I, I think Karen's corner thought Amato won too. <laughs> um, but uh, you know that that's the kind of stuff that happens when you uh, leave it to judges. This sport isn't evolved enough to where the judging is a perfect system. It's not a perfect system. People are still learning about the sport. Even some fighters don't know all about the sport. So you can't expect judges who don't do it to know what they're doing. So um, you can't really lead decisions. I don't, I don't do decisions. Don't I, try to I have two decisions my whole career, I think. Don't do, don't do decisions in this sport. It's not a sport for decisions. You're, you're not going to have a good career. You're going to get ripped off. You're going to feel slighted. At one, at one fight or another, if you keep letting it go to decision. Well, right now, my, my main goal is to be number one outside the UFC. My, my goal is not to fight anyone in the UFC. I know I'm not signed with them. I don't have a contract with them, and they won't let their fighters fight anyone outside there. So it's not even a possibility. It's not even something to think about or dream about. Right now is just to be the number one lightweight in the world with what I can control. No, we can only go after who wants to fight me, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you prefer a tournament format? I love it. Yeah, yeah I love it. I think, I think it has a lot of integrity, a lot of honesty involved in, in a tournament. You can't, you can't bullshit your way out of winning a tournament. Um, just got a store, the first, uh, first fight store in Philadelphia. It's called The Red Corner. You go to redcornermma.com. I have my gear up there, all my custom stuff, uh, signature stuff. It's all up there. And um, it's probably severely lower than the rest of the websites out there. And if you're going to get your gear, get it off a of fighter, please. Got a, I, got, I got three kids, man. <laughs> but um, uh, Red Corner MMA, Big Black. Big Black's going to be helping me out this next, uh, this next event. VIP Wireless and, um, and Bellator. Check me out on MTV uh, April 2nd um, against Bat Parent.